Hello and welcome. I'm Monia Gates. I'm the artist behind Color My Dreams. Tonight we're going to do basic light source tutorial, candle and wing tutorial part 5. We've done part 1, 2, 3 and 4 on Patreon, it was the face, the hair, the arm and the hand was done on pa my Patreon platform. Welcome to all of you. Hi Mom, hi Abby. Welcome and welcome to all my Patrons. Hi Janine, hi Rina, hi Pam. Hi Lizzie. Hi Janine. Hi Colorfab. Hi Bia. Welcome. Hi Lizzie. Sorry if I missed anybody. Hi Laura. Welcome. Okay. So basically what we've been doing is it's a straightforward light source. We are adding light source to normal portrait coloring to create interest so instead of just doing a normal face with the okay. with um, like a face portrait by adding a light source whether it's a candle moonlight or a light a hard light from one side or from the bottom or from the top creates interest to a portrait so in this one it's straightforward because we've got a candle in the image so we will be doing the glow of the candle or the light yeah you can see where your you've got shape shadows lights and darks and then a color change in the light source because this is a warm light so that's why you'll see yellow tones in the image of what the candle is casting onto the figure and how the color changes and then we just um this is basic um just a feather texture it's really small feathers so it's not a lot of detail it's more about the light source than the detail i'll probably rework a little bit of detail a little later but we'll first just get going to get all the color tones right and the lights and darks and where the shadows will be and how it falls and then also how to handle the you've got the uh, flame here then you have the warmth that's shining through the top of the candle and then how to do just the wax that was dripping but this is also just basic on the candle we've got have I do have a more in-depth one on the patron platform of a candle so let's start so I'm going to start with the candle I've lost a, a bit of my drawing so I'm just gonna carry on um, and rework the highlights so that I know roughly where what is. Um, first color I'm going to use is going to be grey green light. I don't want it to be too white as yet. Let's just see if I can bring you a little bit closer. Can everybody see okay and hear me okay? If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Do 
I'm twisting my pencil to keep it relatively sharp. Yes, this is grey green light, BC289. And at this stage it's pretty straightforward still. It's just basically the shaping of the wax that's dripping and where it will pick up some reflective light on this side. So you will have a little bit of a shine. And here and the, this is where all the different things will happen. So I've got a little light section here in the middle, there where it's dripping down, a little highlight. Then we we'll also have one here, mm, roughly here, going down. This highlight will show you the bend of the little droplet. Then here is a bigger one. And then here in the middle of the shape you will have a shining happening. And then also at the bottom. Then over here, there's a funny elongated shape. Again, in the middle, add your shine. So this stage is still pretty straightforward. Nothing too difficult, nothing funny, just still straightforward. Adding in your highlights, your lighter sections.
widen it here because it's a little bit fatter. Oh, it's a bigger droplet. And yeah. Then over on this side, we've got a shape going upwards. Yeah. A little bit of a highlight in the middle to show how the wax is spilling over and melting down. So we're shaping the top of the candle. Then here's another droplet. Is anybody coloring with me so that I know not to go too fast? Welcome back, Abby. On the bend, you add your highlight. Then this will make like sort of like a U shape. Now here I have another droplet, this way. And then here is another shape. And yeah. So now we basically have most of the highlights in. So now we can start playing. Yes, Abby, we had the patron stream. We did the arm and hand and patron this week.
And next color we're going to use is, hmm, let's start with yellow. Canary yellow, BC916. And in this image, you'll see that the little wick is a little dancing figure. As the angel is watching her soul's dancing. So, oh no, Abby, it's on the main feed on Patreon. If you click on your member, my memberships, then you'll see my face come up and then just click on the main feed. It will open and you, then you'll see tags at the top and all the um, posts. All the previous tutorials are there. So the next color here before we carry on with the yellow is eggshell so I'm um, just before I lose this little figure going to highlight the little arm around the head and the other arm and the little body Oh, wonderful, Sherry. That sounds wonderful. Uh, back to Canary Yellow. Now, right on my left hand side of my dripping down bits, or the droplets that's happening, I'm adding in some canary yellow. So, if you've got the two white lines, the one on your left, right next to it, I'm adding in yellow. But only here at the top, not all the way down. Mm, a little bit down here still. But we'll cover it with some more colors. Then right at the top. Next is Deco Yellow, uh, BC1011. Then right at the top of the canary, we add in some Deco Yellow. Also right at the top here. Next color is sunburst yellow. 
Now I'm bringing some warmth to the flame. Also right here at the bottom. Back to canary yellow. Just want to blend that grey green light and the yellowed orange. There we go. Next is cadmium orange U. Mom, can you just confirm the number, please? Now just add a little bit of orange. Then also here round the little figure. Next is oh, cadmium orange was 118. Now I'm on to golden rod. No, not is it golden rod? Golden rod PC1034. Hi, Sinead. Welcome. Canary yellow. Just make that line a little bit more prominent. Yes, it was golden rod. Then we want some red. Let's take crimson red. I'm just sharpening it because. Um, I have to go with a sharp pencil around the little figure. Hi Chantal, welcome. Back to canary yellow. Add in some more yellows. There we go. Now I'm going to take black. Oh, 
I think let's do a page giveaway. Mom and Abby, can you just help me um, with uh, the numbers? Everybody can choose a number between 1 and 100. We're going to have a random number generator. And you can win a page from my Etsy store. And you can all go now. This is the black, so just do the little candle wick. Mine is a little dancing. Then espresso PC one zero nine nine and just darken the bottom of the flame around the wick. Then pumpkin orange PC one zero three two Golden rod, blend in that red that we've added, next is mineral orange, then eggshell, Okay, it's all the numbers in. Have you all chosen a number? Next is Salmon Pink, PC1001. Okay, all the numbers in. Okay, let's start. Oops, there we go. And stop. 46. Who's the, clo who's the closest? 
The lucky number is 46. Next is Beige Sienna. Now I'm going in between the white lines so you have like a little shadow happening. Congratulations Tanirina! You can choose any page from my Etsy store and I will email it to you. So now we're adding in some shadows, but we're slowly building up the colors. And this is a light hand now because we're going to add some more colors there. And have you all colored the pirate lady? And this is basic shadows. Oh, wonderful! Can't wait to see them. You must all please post them to Color My Dreams Facebook group so that I can see them. Hi Barbara, welcome!
The next colour I'm going to use is Clay Rose, PC1017. Next is Salmon Pink again. But it doesn't matter, Barbara. Nobody knows how your bead is supposed to look like. It's your bead. And your version. As long as you have the shine in the right spot and your shadow area, it will be fun. Because the green bead was mixed with different colors, there is a possibility that it will have slight variations. Because you don't know how much yellow I've put on that specific spot or for example, and blue. Well, that's brilliant, Barbara. I'm so glad your skin turned out well. Did you enjoy that tutorial, Barbara? Next is Nectar. Oh, great. Remember to post to the groups, the patron group and the um, Color My Dreams group so I can see. Uh, next is Great Lavender, PC1026. If you're a patron, post to a private patron group. And if you're not a patron, please post to Color My Dreams on Facebook and I can see your work.
I love seeing your colorings. I love to see how you give life to the drawings with your colors. What type of tutorials would you like to see more of in public streams? In general. Next is 50% French grey, BC1072. I just need to take grey green light. I see this one section that I didn't highlight. And there we go. And also here. Back to the 50% French grey. Next is page C in again.
Are you almost still there? You are very quiet tonight. Next is light peach, BC927. Oh, good. Okay, next is 70% cool gray. So I'm using the cool gray here. It has a little bit of a blue undertone. So that will be a cooler color and it will play off the warmer colors at the top here. But don't worry, we will lighten it again. So don't worry if it looks a bit dark at the moment.
Next we're going to use our beige sienna again and just blend it. Also just accentuate the little shadows. And blend all that grey that we've added, just soften it a bit. Next I'm going to use a little bit of Sandbar Brown, BC1094. Now just softly with a light hand, give a little bit more depth to the shadows. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. See you again next week. Oopsie. Next is Nectar again. You too, Sunette. Next is a little bit of mineral orange. Uh, just enhance the warmth here at the top of the candle. Also on the shadow.
Next is Caledon Green, PC1020. Then slate grey, BC936. And we're still slowly building up the colours. And you'll see that it's starting to smooth out. And next is 70% warm grey. Now we're going to add in the darkest shadows. Before we carry on with the lights and the mid-tones. Yes, the 70% warm grey is BC1056.
You ladies are really quiet tonight. Next this light peach again and just blend it in softly. Maybe it's because we haven't had a public stream for a while. Next is PC1033 mineral orange. Get a little bit little bit of warmth. The peach again. A little bit of warmth. And peach. Now I'm just going to soften all of this because this looks like a really shiny candle at the moment. So go ahead and just soften everything with the peach. But there's nothing wrong with it if you want to keep it like that. You're welcome to. Now the patch scene. Yes, it looks like pearls. Like a pearled candle. One of those metallic -y candles. It's what I had in mind because she's sitting in like a old rock um, cathedral church or what do you, uh, yeah but it was, that was made by stone masons in my imagination and it's really dark and she is an angel so she can have a pearl pulled <laughs> a pulled candle. Next is Deco Yellow. A bit brighter in this section. Then beige Cena.
next is grade lavender So next is white. Just want to take the grey lavender. Here is the white coming down. And then here would be a shadow. Are oh, you welcome, Barbara? Yes, we're going to do the wings. Um, and then how it ref the candle is reflecting onto it. And yeah, on Patreon we did the candle light source effect on the face and arm and hand. And this is just the straightforward, just the candle first. This is golden rod, just for the tip of the flame, and then mineral orange, just a easy quick candle. Sorry, wrong one. Sandbar brown. Yes, I have, Barbara. 
On my patron, there's a whole butterfly fairy with lots of different butterflies and blue flowers. So what? So uh, hi, Robin. Welcome. So nice to see you here. We haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Now we're just shape shadowing. Oh, thank you, Robin. Next is the great lavender again. Now just blend it again to lighten it. before we go back with the sandbar brown go up a little bit higher hi Lulu welcome good night Danirina thank you for being here I really appreciate it So to get the glow, we're just taking the darkness a little bit higher. So you've got details at the bottom. And then dull it out because there's only a uh, glow coming from the top. But you can change your colors to be any any color candle. I was just playing around with some lighter um, candle color to suit the wing and the darkness of the page. Back to white. Now just here and there, just accentuate 
sum of the shine of the wax And a little bit more here. And soften the edge here at the top. No, Barbara, that sounds awful. So you can play with your different colors that you would like your candle to be, but this is just plain basics. We will do the glow and the effect that it has on the color, on the wing and the shadow that it will cast um, next week. So thank you, Abby and Mom, for being my mods. Thank you to each and every one that came out tonight to watch the stream. And we've done a candle. So this is what we will be doing next week. Let me just zoom out a bit. See, we will work on the glow and the effect on the wing itself. But this is just a basic wing, not too much detail. I might still add detail a little later, but the main focus was on to show the glow of the candle. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, everyone. S See you all next week for part six, the wing. Hope to see you all here next week. Bye-bye for now and stay safe.